tautomers are a structural isomers. They differ in position of a hydrogen and pi bond. For example, This is a general formula for compound that can show tautomerism. So this is tautomer 1. And another tautomer will be this one. So this is tautomer 2. Now you can see in this case hydrogen is attached to X atom but in this case hydrogen is attached to Z atom. So position of hydrogen is changed. You can also see the position of double bond. Initially we have double bond between Y and Z atom and then we have double bond between X and Y atom. So position of double bond has changed. Another important point about tautomerism is that tautomers exist in dynamic equilibrium that is tautomer 1 is converting into tautomer 2 and tautomer 2 is converting into tautomer 1. So they exist in dynamic equilibrium. So we have written general formula of compound that can show tautomerism. So this is a general formula of a compound that can show tautomerism. So we should have a double bond and then we should have a hydrogen and hydrogen should be attached at alpha position. Now this is the double bond. The next atom will be called as alpha atom. So for a compound to show tautomerism we must have a alpha hydrogen. So condition for tautomerism compound must have a alpha hydrogen. So must have an alpha hydrogen. It can have more than one alpha hydrogen. So possibly it can have more than one alpha hydrogen in some cases. But at least it should have one alpha hydrogen. So at least one. Now how we can write tautomers? And this is easy. 
So we have this system. So this is tautomer 1. We can convert into tautomer 2. What we have to do? We have to break this bond and make a pi bond. And then we have to break a pi bond here to make a lone pair. So x will have a negative charge. And this h plus should be added at this position. So this is your tautomer 2. So one tautomer can be converted into another tautomer. Similarly, if I want to convert this tautomer into this tautomer, we can break this bond, open this bond here and add hydrogen here. That is same as this tautomer. So one tautomer can be converted into another tautomer by flowing two arrow. One is bond pair to bond pair, another is again bond pair to lone pair and then finally it converts into a bond pair. So by flowing two arrow or pushing two arrow, one can convert one tautomer to another tautomer. Now generally x, y, z atoms are carbon, nitrogen and oxygen. So there are three possibility. We can have for x, y, z atom that is it can have a carbon or it can have a nitrogen or it can have a oxygen. For example, we will have different types of tautomerism by choosing different atoms for x, y, z. So if I take x is equals to carbon, y is also carbon and z is oxygen. So we will have carbon carbon double bond. So we have this system and oxygen and we have hydrogen. Now we can convert into another tautomer. So this bond goes here this goes here so we will have a single bond and here we will have a double bond now if you see this compound this contains a keto group now this compound contains a all group OH group that is all and one in group that is alkene so this form of tautomer is called enol. So this is your enol. And this form of tautomer is called keto. So this tautomerism is also called keto enol tautomerism. Now we can have another possibility, let us say x is carbon, y is nitrogen and z is oxygen. So in this case we will have this system. We can write another tautomer. N double bond O. Now this contains a NO group. So this tautomer is called nitrosoform. So this is your nitrosoform. Now this tautomer contains NOH group. And this group is called oxime. So this is oxime form.
So this tautomerism is called nitroso oxime tautomerism. We can have another possibility that is x is carbon, y is carbon and z is nitrogen. So we will have this tautomer. Now we can write another tautomer by changing the position of hydrogen. Basically nitrogen should have three bond. So we have shown only two bond. It must have a alkyl group. So let us say CH3 group it has. And it will have a lone pair of electron. Now this form of tautomer contains a in group. And it contains a amine group. And this amine is a basically 2 degree amine. So this form is called enamine. Now this form has a carbon nitrogen double bond. This is a imine functional group. So this tautomerism is called enamine-imine tautomerism. We can have another possibility that X is carbon, Y is nitrogen, and Z is oxygen. So basically we will have so X is carbon so this is X and we will have nitrogen, Y is nitrogen, so this is Y and Z is oxygen and it will have a alpha hydrogen, so this is alpha atom and it has a extra oxygen, so we have this group or we can write something like this. nitrogen will have plus formal charge now we can write another tautomer by changing the position of hydrogen here I should have only two bond because it has a double bond so this bond goes here So we will have this tautomer. If you see this tautomer, it has nitro functional group. So this is called nitro form. And this compound that is called AC nitro form. So we have in this case O minus OH. This form is called AC nitro. So this tautomerism is called nitro AC nitro tautomerism. So in this lecture we discussed about different form of tautomerism.
we have discussed four tautomerism there are many system of tautomers exist and possibility for x y z datum is carbon carbon you can have nitrogen or you can have oxygen so you can try yourself more system so you can change atom x y z with carbon nitrogen and oxygen you can try yourself many more system so more systems are possible